Hey guys, it's Monica. Thank you for joining me. I'm going to share with you some favorites, things I have really been enjoying in August. I know it's September, but I'm a little bit behind the game. But some of the things that I have really been enjoying and most of them that I've purchased and some of the things that were sent to me. So if you are curious, please stay tuned. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me. So in um, this video, I'm gonna share a little bit of makeup, a little bit of lifestyle, and just things that I have been enjoying, whether or not they're makeup related or not. But one of the things is, I mentioned this in one of my other videos, that I had bought a rip skirt. <laughs> and I don't know if any of you have seen rip skirts or not but ripskirthawaii.com so i bought a black one because my bathing suit the one i wear a lot is green and i have a blue one so i wanted to have a solid color because i wasn't too sure they had such beautiful colors on their website but i wasn't too sure exactly which ones would look good and i also wasn't too sure what size because I'm a big girl so I ended up buying an extra large and the way rip skirts are they got like these velcro right and they got this little cute little pocket that you can I don't know it's not it's too small for my phone but it would certainly be you could stick some money in there and I got the number two which is the length that goes to just above my knees so I really love this it is super comfortable it packs amazing and you just wrap it around your bathing suit so if you are a bigger girl or if you're a smaller girl it doesn't much matter right but if you want to sort of hide a little bit of the thighs a little bit of the butt jingle this is perfect you put your bathing suit on you just wrap this around it's long enough to cover your upper legs if you want you can go down to the water it gets wet it dries amazingly and it feels so comfortable and because it is velcro you can adjust it down a little bit if you want and they have so many pretty pretty colors so i got black because that's what most of my bathing suits, you know, wraps are black because I have colors, blue, green. Then I have one that's sort of a multicolored top. So I figured black would just go with anything. They were pricey. And, um, you know, obviously, Rip Skirt Hawaii has no clue who I am. But I really like it. So if you're a bigger gal and you still want to, you know, go to the beach and stuff like that, and you want to have something super comfortable that packs well, this would probably be perfect for... Uh, if you're going on vacation, at least me. So I love my rip skirt. I mentioned it in a previous video that I got a rip skirt. I had a few people go, what the heck is a rip skirt? Well, you just rip it and it opens up, apparently. Or you then you can just close it, go in the water, you can go swimming with it. Um, I think, too, that it's long enough for me that if I wanted to just throw a top on, I could go out to a beach bar or a beach restaurant right afterwards and sit there and feel totally comfortable in it. So I've been enjoying that. I'm so glad I got it. I thought it was really cool. I loved it. I um, also, we were when we were camping, we went to the beach and one day it was kind of cloudy. So we decided we were gonna take a day trip and we went from Hampton Beach, New Hampshire up the coast to Maine. And we, we went to a few places, but we ended up coming down the coast and we went into Saco, Maine, Biddeford, Maine, and we had um, lunch, and I'll superimpose a picture here. The deck was beautiful overlooking. It's in a mill building overlooking the river. It is absolutely beautiful. It's a beautiful day. We sat there with our friends, and we had, we had I had a hamburger. It was, you know, you can tell a good hamburger, right? I mean, frozen patties, no, no, no. This was super, super good. So I had a hamburger that was to die for. It was so tasty. I loved it. And we did that. It was like about, probably about, you know, 12, 31 o'clock when we were sitting there. And no, it was later. It was like 1 32. So as we meandered down the coast and we made our way back to Hampton where we were camping, our friend Mike kept saying, I gotta have, I, I have, I've just, I've just, he just had a, a craving, a craving for fried dough. 
and he had mentioned fried dough a couple of times. He said, we're going to have fried dough for dessert. I hadn't had fried dough in eons, right? So we found a parking space at the beach. Now, we're pretty close to where our camper is, but we found a parking space, and we went out, and I got a fried dough that was like apple, apple, fry, apple filling on the fried dough. It, oh my gosh, was it delicious so i had my fried dough mike and judy had fried dough jay went and have an, had an ice cream and we said this is going to be dinner right because it's we ate late and who's going to be hungry right so we made a decision that we're gonna, that was going to be dinner so after we were finished i said to everyone they were still eating i said you know what i'm going to walk back because we're only like maybe a little over half a mile maybe a little bit more from where we were to where our, our camper was, and I knew they were gonna hop in the car and they beat me there anyways. And so they said, okay, you really wanna walk? I said, yeah, I need, wanted the exercise. So I walked and <coughs> they, went the, they went in the car, but the funniest thing was when I came around, obviously it was gonna be, they were gonna beat me there, right? When I came around the back end of the motorhome to the middle where we were sharing a yard with Mike and Judy who had their camper, I saw Jay up on a ladder with his butt just about hanging out of the window. I could not believe it. I was like, oh my God, what happened? And they were all like freaking out. Jay was trying to get his foot in. He was like wedged and all this stuff. Apparently the clicker to the door did not open the door. And I don't know whether the battery was dead or it was just decided at that moment that it was not going to work. And I was like going, how come nobody filmed him? You know, by this time, like Jay was inside and... At, you know, the only bottom thing, the only thing is hanging out with the bottom of his feet. It was, it was hysterical to me because I was like going, why didn't you guys film him? Nobody thought of filming him as he was wedging himself in the window. And they all thought I was terrible for thinking, why didn't anyone film him? And then all at the same time, our friend Mike decided to try the clicker again and it unlocked. It's like so crazy. It was like so crazy. But Oh my gosh, we had a great time at the beach. I, I don't even know why I'm telling you that story. I just thought it was hysterical. Anyways, I had um, this, this company had reached out to me and I have the dry eye, right? And they had reached out to me quite a while ago about an electric eye mask, which I use every single night. I love that electric eye mask. So if I wake up like two or three o'clock in the morning and I'm feeling it, I just turn it, put it on, turn it on. It's hanging right by my, my bedpost. Anyways, they reached out to me about a waterproof, whoops, makeup bag. And they asked if I wanted to re review it. I probably am going to butcher the name, but it's R-E-S-E-P-L-A-S-S. -E -S -S. I will link all the information. Replass, something like that. It is waterproof. I chose the pink. They do have a couple of different colors. Another color, they have a tan, and they have the pink. But this material is, I think it's called Tyvek, and it's sort of an environmental type of a material that has antibacteria, anti-mold, anti-mites and what I really love about it is that it has compartments so when I was at the beach I put all my makeup in here I had some sunblock in here I had my powder and zip it right up and it doesn't get wet so I didn't care right at the beach if this got wet right I was and it washes beautifully I washed it down it really is nice so it's made of really durable material and it held up I will absolutely swear to you it held up amazingly in the salt water environment that i was in and i think it's cute so i love it it has two little compartments on the side i know you probably can't see it two compartments on the side and the zipper compartment you can get it on amazon it is reasonable soft and holds a heck of a lot so i love it sharing it with you this has been a favorite this month of mine I'm always on the go. Jay and I are pretty active people. So, you know, my, my whole thing is I want to be outside. He wants to be outside. And this is perfect. I love it. So this was sent to me complimentary from the company. I'm going to link the information from Amazon below. And you can check it out. It's lightweight and it cleans up so nice. Trust me when I say it cleans up so nice. It almost looks new. You wouldn't think this went camping with me but it did so it was really awesome really like it and you can actually do more than um you know you can actually do more than just put your 
your makeup in there. You can pretty well do whatever you want. So a couple of things. I mentioned that I have, you know, I've been using my eye mask and I'm still suffering from the dry eye. I still have little bouts of it, but I've been so, so careful. So I had bought this lid and lash cleanser. Now, for those of you that have dry eye, this might be something you might want to try. It's not inexpensive, but I bought it off of Amazon. I'll link the information. And what I do after I take my makeup off, my eye makeup, I spritz this on my eyes and I massage it. And I really think, as good as I am about removing my makeup, I really think this as the last step has super helped my eyes a lot. So I love this stuff. I would almost want to kiss it because I think it's made that much of a difference in my eyes. It's awesome. So that's been great. This is what my eye doctor had recommended for eye drops. And it's Reliva. It's from Refresh. It's Reliva. And I've been going through this now. I, I use this a number of times a day. I really like it. I think out of all the drops that I've been using, this one has worked out the best for me. And I have used a number of different drops from the digital to the Optima, Optima, I mean, a bunch of them. And as much as these little tiny plastic ones are so easy to travel with and, and they're perfect size and they're, they're sanitized, I, I can't see when I put this in. When I rip this up and I open it up, I can't see when I'm, pu when I'm putting it in. So I have to have someone put it in for me because I've missed my eye and I've actually scratched my eye trying to put it in because I can't see and I don't have glasses on. With this being so much thicker, I can actually see it. So <laughs> that was really, really, really good. I also have been using, and I can't remember, and I'm so sorry because I know somebody has talked about this and they use these a lot. And I might've mentioned this before, but I have been using the e.l.f. and this is the, I'm going to call it the Insta Lift Brow Pencil. I have two of them. I really love these. I love the fact that there's a spoolie on one end and you can brush it up. And I love the fact that it's retractable and it's softer. Not soft, soft, that it breaks off, but softer. I have a hard time with a hard pencil. So this has been a true favorite of mine. Highly recommend it. It's like three bucks, sometimes even cheaper. It is awesome. Same thing with my Flower Beauty. I love this. This is the left, the Light Illusion, and this is their Perfecting Powder. I've used this for quite a while, but within this last month, I've used it almost every day. I love it. It just kind of gives me a good finish to my skin, my makeup. I really love it a lot. So that's been a huge, huge thing that I've loved. And another thing, and this was actually um, Sheila, Simply Sheila, formerly Life with Lily, Sheila, had talked about. This is the Smashbox Contour. And as you can see, this is well loved. I'm going to actually have to get another one when I go to the cosmetic company store. But I use the contour to contour my face. And then I use the, the illumination or whatever right here and on my lids, which I really like. I like the brush. And then I have sort of like a bronzer all over. And the bronzer is really nice. Uh, I do like it. I use it with a big fluffy brush. But more importantly, the, I use this for eyeshadow. So there, I have actually done a full eye with these three, a full smoky eye. I've used this one for my V, my outer edge. I've used this just for a little bit of color, this for my lid, and then of course an eyeliner, right? I can't believe that I can get away with this for an eye look, but I can, and I really like that. Especially if you're out and about, right? You're always looking for something a little bit more portable for your makeup. I think it's awesome. So where would I be with my red eye issues without my Lumify? This continues to be a massive, massive favorite of mine. I don't use it every day. I used it today. Um, I use it when I'm going out special occasion and I just want my eyes to look brighter or if I'm feeling I got some redness. But I love my Lumify. I absolutely love it. And while we're on that, um, 
while we're on that topic, my blink, my eyelash. So I am getting sent to review a mirror that will help put that you will help you put on, be able to do false eyelashes. I'm really looking forward to it because I don't use false eyelashes. And I want to get some false eyelashes and apply them, but I haven't yet. My blink has it's made a world of difference with my eyes. I absolutely love blink. It's an awesome eyelash serum. I love it anyways. For me, it works really, really great. Now, I was sent, and I talked about this jewelry, right? I was sent from a company called Jonesy. J-O-A-N. C-E-E. -E. I'll superimpose a little bit of their website. They reached out to me and they said, would you like to check out our jewelry? Would you like to talk about your our jewelry? Give us a review. We, you know, they, they said you can pick some stuff on your website and I've done this before. I've reviewed jewelry before. I really liked it. But what I thought was really cool about their jewelry was it's all, it, it's mostly synthetic um, sapphires. So it comes so beautifully packed. The top drawer has the two boxes that I picked in it. The bottom drawer has some directions for care, for the sapphires and for the silver, the sterling silver. Uh, yeah, it gives you the care instructions for it. And I thought it was really nice. So I picked out these jewelries and, I, and I, these rings. And I was like super excited because one of the things that I have always liked is stackables. That's a stackable, but this one, whoops, it fell out because I put it in. This one came with four round rings. I'm gonna put them on. So I'm gonna put the blue, in my opinion, more of a sapphire band. And then it has this adorable, I mean, this is really pretty. Now this is the white sapphire. I don't know if the camera's gonna pick it up, right? And then I can put the other blue one on the outside of it. So you can see, you seeing that? And then I still have two white ones, right? I can, if I really want to go wide, I can add that and I can add them both actually to like that. But for me, that's a little bit too wide. It goes too far close to my, um, you know, my finger. So when you look at rings, I couldn't get this on my middle finger. Well, I could, but I don't, I don't want to try. But when you look at rings like these stackables, right? I just think they're, is that the right word? I just think they're so cute. And so far, I took these to the beach. And while we were at the beach, we celebrated our anniversary. And, um, and we went out with another couple and we went to the Sea Glass restaurant, which is really super nice. I had these rings on. And they looked really, really good. And I had them on because here I've got the wider band in the middle and I have the blue thin band on either side. And then here I just have the two clear bands, the two white bands. But now the one I haven't worn yet, which I think you have to really look at it carefully because I'm going to put it on my finger here. I love this. I don't know if this is going to pick up. The, it has like amethyst in there, and that's my birthstone. So it has some really pretty... I'm going to try to take pictures of this so you can see. And oh my gosh, this is so pretty. This is really so pretty. Now I have it on this hand with the other stackables from here. So um, I know I talked about where you see my jewelry. Well, I'll tell you. I love jewelry. I absolutely love jewelry. And I have some really nice jewelry. I have some pearls. I have some pretty expensive pieces. And, you know, where, where are they, right? They're in the safety deposit box, right? Um, so to me, and I haven't won this one yet because it still has the tag on it, right? So, but to me, when you go away and you have something and you can put it on, and you have something that looks so exquisite and so real and so affordable. It's just, I think, awesome. So this company, Jonesy Jewelry, uh, Synthetic Sapphires. They're chemically, they say chemically and physically, optically identical to natural gems. So when you look at this, you don't even know 
that these are synthetic sapphires. They have a 30 day return policy, they have free shipping, they have a one year warranty. Um, they're they're, uh, they're 9.9 9, 925 sterling silver. So that is really awesome. I think this is beautiful. This has got to be my favorite, favorite piece. It is so, so pretty. And as far as these bands and the bands go, I think they're perfection. So I know I'm going on and on about this, but I can't tell you how much I enjoy wearing my jewelry and how much when you can get something that looks so expensive and and it, they're on sale. I mean, check out the prices on their website. I think I saw like 30% off or, or I, and more. And then they have like a sale section. So these are amazing. I absolutely love it. Thank you so much, Jonesy. And I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right, but Jonesy Jewelry. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It is just really, really nice. So I'm going to link all the information. You can check it out. I love the presentation. I love how it arrived. I love the cleaning, you know, the little box here, the little place. You can just keep it, you know, together like that. And, and that to me was really perfect. So that was super awesome, super cool. And other thing that I have been loving, and I've talked about these before. This is the apple cider vinegar gummies. Uh, when I take these, twice in the morning and twice sort of midday, I, my appetite is, I mean, we went to a restaurant and I could not eat what I would normally eat because of this. And I took more than half of it home. The next day we had it for lunch. So these apple cider gummy, gummies are wonderful. They're also great for your gut health. They make me feel good. Uh, they make me feel full and they give me a little bit of energy. So yeah, these have been a super, super favorite of mine. Another thing is my Easy Sweets. I've talked about Easy Sweets in the past, and you know what? Artificial sweeteners, pros and cons. It's up to you, but out of all the artificial sweeteners, this is what I use. This is, um, it's a sure, sure close, I can never pronounce that, liquid. So it may or may not work for you, up to you, but this is what I use for my sweetener. I love it. I put a couple of drops in my coffee. I have one in my pocketbook. And now with my new makeup bag, I can just stick it right in there, which is like really awesome. But I, I love it. And I'm back to really being more religious on that, watching my sugar intake, because we've, I've been trying to, to you know exercise a little bit more, walk a little bit more. We're getting ready to buy our e. Well, we bought our e-bikes. We just don't have them yet. Mine may never come in at the rate it's going. But um, so we've just been really trying to be super careful with that. Color science. Oh yeah, being at the beach, I got some color, but I got no burns. So between my hats and my skincare, I use dermatology. I use a lot of the sunblock. I have color science. I use that. Absolutely love it. Love it. Another thing I love is my Built Bars. Now I have just purchased. These two just came in, so they're pretty full. These are just the regular bars. These are what Jay likes. Jay loves the cookies and cream and the mint brownie. These are his two favorites. So what I do is I keep some out. I put the rest in the freezer. And I mean, one of those will fill you up, right? It's a great snack. It's, it'll fill you right up. Um, and then I have the puffs. So this puff is the banana cream pie marshmallow. I love it. I'm a banana lover, so I really love this. I think they taste awesome. Now, I also use the Atkins bars, right? <laughs> the indulge bars. My favorite indulge bar is the chocolate coconut. Love those. Get them at Walmart. And then the indulge, this is a caramel nut chew bar. Love those. Get those in Walmart. So they may not be the best choice at times for diet, but when you're on the run and you're working full time and you're always on the go, you know, you get to grab what you can. And I think that beats going to say Burger King and getting a Whopper or something. Um, yeah, my they I put one in my bag and, and it's that, I find like midday or later in the day, I'm a little hungry, I want a little bit of something, I'll take the bar. And sometimes I just have half of the bar, I cut it in half, put it in a bag. I really like it. A big fail, skinnies. 
these I've seen all over the place and people love them. I hate them. So my battery died. I don't know if I'm in the frame or not, but uh, I ordered, I ordered a ton of them. I ordered like six packs of these, right? And this is a mojito twist. This uh, mojito twist again, uh, Baja Margarita. I've got a couple of other flavors that I got and I, I don't like them. So you're supposed to be able to mix this like say with sparkling water or some other low calorie drink, salsa water, whatever. And then you can mix this and you do one package and you drink and you add your alcohol and you're good to go, right? Skinny's cocktail mixes. Zero calories. They sound delicious. I know everyone has different taste buds. For me, they were a huge fail. I, I, could, I could not stomach them. I, I, I tried three times to three different flavors to, um, you know, to make myself a cocktail. I could not. I could not. I, I did not like them at all. I had to throw them out. They were awful. They were awful. So if you guys like them, awesome. I don't like them. Other thing that, and I've talked about this guy forever, and I don't, I mean, there's no name on here. I got this on Amazon eons ago, but this is a little travel thing, and it has a magnifying mirror on one side. I think it's, it's probably, ooh, it's probably like a 10 times magnifying mirror. I mean, really big, and then it has a tweezer on the other. So I love this because if you're out, and you want to you see a stray hair or whatever and you want to tweeze it oh my gosh I would go nowhere without this I'm gonna see if I can try to find something close to this so you guys can see it but I would go nowhere without this at all I love that I love it it's just like been it's just been huge I had to get myself a new curling iron now I've got like Companies that reach out to me and I have like flat irons. I probably have like three different flat irons that I've tried to review and I have reviewed that I've received complimentary, but I just keep going back to my good old fashioned curling iron. And I hate to say it, my curling iron is cheap. I got this at Walmart. I think it was on sale for nine something under $10. This is Conair Instant Heat. It's the one I've been using for my own hair for eons. So I just got this. Thank God they still had it because this works good for my bio hair when I have it. Of course, what I have on my head is Raquel Welch, a real deal. I always mention it the wrong way. Is it real deal? Real edge. It's, it's real deal. And this is in the color shade of cappuccino. I purchased this wig. I love this wig. This wig is just absolutely awesome. Awesome. Great color choice for me. Very, very natural. Um, I think this is a real natural look. Uh, when I wear this, no one ever says, oh, you're wearing a wig, you know? And some of you might go, oh, yeah, she's wearing a wig. Now, what makes this different that my mother doesn't like is these blunt edges, which is kind of trendy. My mother does not like this on me. Um, I have her on video saying that, actually. She does not like this on me because of these blunt edges. But that's my mother's generation, right? Not mine. So I love this wig. This has been a favorite. This is probably the one I wear, I've worn the most. Other than my twists, when I twist my bio hair up and I put it in a bun on the back of my head with a clip, sometimes I'll wear a topper just for fullness. Sometimes I don't wear anything. It's just my own bio hair pulled up. And, and you've seen it that way many a times. But I will have to say that this wig has been a favorite this past month. It is, I think it's absolutely beautiful. I love the colors. It, more importantly, it makes me feel good when I have her on my head. So I think that's it. I know I feel like I've been going on and on and on. It's probably wicked long, but I've had so much I wanted to share with you, you know, things I love and things I don't love. Um, and like I said, the majority of this stuff I bought myself. The things that were gifted to me, especially this jewelry, Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? I love it. I think that is so pretty. And again, I've only got, I've got two other bands. I could put another um, white sapphire band next to the blue one on either side, but then it just brings it too close to my knuckles. And I just feel like I have too much, too much ring on. But 
yeah, I, I'm sure I forgot stuff, but <laughs> but that's it. That's my that's my favorites. The things I've been loving, things that were gifted to me, things I bought, things I enjoy, the jewelry. Oh, the stuff is so pretty, so pretty. <laughs> Anyways, um, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate every single one of you. And if you are new to my channel and you've not subscribed, please consider hitting the subscribe button wherever it is, the notification button. I try to upload twice a week. I'm not always good, so I'm not going to promise that's going to happen, but I try to. Um, yeah, just keep checking back if you don't see a notification from me because sometimes YouTube does shut those notifications off, and that's a real bummer. So anyways, thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys.